based on where you are in the world, your experience from a pandemic perspective is very different. And we know for many, they are absolutely still struggling. And so looking for the prize that addresses opportunity to recover, opportunity to support the communities around the globe is so incredibly important. This award will uh, be for $50,000 and will recognize that innovative technology solution to really help us recover. The second award is the Greenhouse Gas Solutions Award, and this will also be uh, for $50,000. And we're looking for those solutions that can drive a scale response to addressing greenhouse gases. There are so many amazing technologies and innovators around the world, and uh, we're so thankful for all of the work that you do. So these two awards really support our efforts as a company to power an inclusive future for all. And what that means is that we will do our part to make the world better than it is today. We will leverage our technology to connect people, to reduce the digital divide. We will focus on inclusion. As we look to the future, we know that we're moving towards sustainability and a regenerative planet. And we'll do it with all of you. And so with that, I want to say a huge congratulations to everyone who participated. And now I'm happy to share that we're going to hear more about the winners and the finalists. Congratulations to all. Thank you so much, Fran. And we are jumping right in again. The winner of the $50,000 Pandemic Response Prize is Biodesign Innovation Lab. Ah. So Biodesign Innovation Lab is based in India and it's about an affordable alternative for prolonged manual ventilation. The solution provides ventilation for patients in emergency care, ambulances, and post-operative care, saving lives during medical emergencies. So congrats, Biodesign. I want to speak with Gotham. Um, thank you so much for your work to address the impact from the pandemic. What are your goals at, for your startup over the next year? I think we wanted to save as many lives as possible with our device deployments uh, across India and globally. And uh, first of all, I would like to thank my parents who are watching this right now and everyone who has supported uh, our journey so far, even my team members right now in the call. And uh, yeah, we're looking, we're passionate about saving lives and uh, we started back in 2017. We uh, wanted to build solutions that you know can save lives and improve quality of care. And this has been the drive since the beginning of the starting of this uh, a medical device startup to save lives, which is the vision of our vision and mission of our company to make accessible solutions affordable. And yeah. That's wonderful. Thank you guys so much. And shout out to all of the families and communities who are supporting 